What's up Multiverse, Dr. Dave here and welcome to the Geek Lounge. On today's video we're going to be opening up a whole bunch of Funko Pop parcels. In fact, what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 parcels to open up. So let's check out what we got. <sighs> and so we've got a ton of parcels and Funko Pops to get through so let's waste no time and get right into it. This one, as you guys can see, is already open. The reason for that is that I've ordered something that's very, very cool that we are going to be showing off at the end of the video and I thought it may be in this package and I wanted to make sure it was received all in good order. Though when I think about it, I don't know how I did get it wrong because this is a Fungo.com uh, or FungoEurope.com box and uh, yeah, the figure that I ordered that we're going to show off at the end did not come from Fungo Europe. So yeah, I just kind of opened it up by mistake, I guess, in the end. But let me show this off because it is very, very cool. It is the Remy Deluxe figure from Ratatouille. Look at that, guys. Special edition sticker, though. Um, I think it was a box lunch exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. In the US, there it is on the back, though that is really just a glam shot. And like I said, it is a very, very cool looking figure. He's standing there, I guess, on like a kitchen surface, making the Ratatouille there on the plate. Some really nice detail in the Ratatouille, as well as on Remy himself. I mean, the figure could have maybe been better if he was flocked, but I guess that is asking a lot. I do have the flocked Chase uh, Remy already in my collection from the original line of Ratatouille figures. But yeah, like I said, this is really, really cool. I think it would make a really nice kitchen piece, though so now that I do think about it, maybe some people would be grossed out by a chef rat cooking in their kitchen. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Would you display this in your kitchen? And this next parcel here, guys, is from Double Box Toys, and we do have an affiliate link with them in the description below. I don't really think you guys get anything out of it, though. It just goes towards, you know, supporting us, supporting the channel. Um, but I will be completely honest, Double Box Toys, they are a lot more expensive than some of the other independent retailers. And uh, yeah, they've kind of been struggling, at least in my opinion, recent. well, not just my opinion, because I've seen a lot of people, um, you know, start referring to them as double late toys. Um, you know, they've been struggling to get parcels out and things out. And I have actually waited quite a long time for this one, to be honest, but very happy to now get it. It is the Chase Narrator with Power Animal from Fight Club, one of my favorite movies of all time so cool when i first saw these release i mean when did they release it was quite a while ago well two years ago it felt like it was longer um but i wasn't too sure what i thought about you know what? i'm just looking at that chase sticker though that, that chase sticker looks a bit poor hmm, you have to kind of question the uh the legitimacy sometimes when you do see poor stickers like that but to be honest sometimes the uh the quality control of funko is a bit off it's just the sticker is is you know like the black um the black trim around the side is just very uneven very thick at the top and very thin at the bottom so yeah that is a little bit questionable may have to look into that a little bit more um but i think the rest of the box looks to be not too bad uh not in terms of condition i'm just mean in terms of whether it's a fake, but sometimes those stickers are a bit of a giveaway. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, when these were released, I wasn't too sure what I thought about uh, having the um, the Brad Pitt's character, Tyler Durden, being the common, and then Ed Norton's character, the narrator, being the chase. Though I do think it is a kind of cool aspect, but it does mean if you wanted both characters, you, you kind of had to shell out, and I did. But this was in one of the double box toy sales. I did order it a long time ago, like I said, and it, um, it, you know, it's just finally, finally come. But yeah, very, very cool figure with the Rupert tag there. I guess it's all when he's gone to the um, uh, those. Uh, it's not like uh, is it Alcoholics Anonymous? I, I mean, there's I think there's various groups he goes to, doesn't he? Um, so like one for hormones and things like that. Again, again, I can't. It's been a while since I've seen the film, but really really did enjoy fight club um he's got the little power animal there as well which is the penguin um yeah just a really cool figure really happy to have finally got this though yeah just not too sure on that chase sticker we'll have to investigate that further hoping that this isn't a fake 
Just real quickly guys, I wanted to show this off because I do often forget to look at the boxes which is a bit annoying because some of them do have some really cool easter eggs. This Fight Club one in particular has this Project Mayhem logo here on one of the bottom flaps. I did show off the back but we didn't really talk about it. It does have all the rules of Fight Club on it which is very very cool. But there is also a quote on the top flap as you guys can see here. Step forward into your cave, that's right you're going deeper into your cave and you're going to find your power animal. One of the quotes from the movie very very cool next parcel guys is from popfigures.com who i highly highly recommend uh, for us pops well pops in general actually most of my common pops i actually pre-order from popfigures.com you always get a sticker and some jelly beans i have a ton of these stickers now because i do all that so much from them things always wrap so well they come in their own sort of boxes as well as their own uh, protectors as well that you guys will see in a second. We do also have an affiliate link with them uh, in the description below is a little bit more of a benefit to you. If you do make a purchase using that affiliate link, you will get 10 pounds off a future purchase. We will also get 10 pounds off a future purchase as well. I'm not gonna be showing this one off too closely today, but it is Tetsu Tetsu from My Hero Academia, the Class 1B Hot Topic exclusive. I have been collecting all of these. We've got, wait, who have we got now? We've got uh, Naito and Kendo. We have Ibarra coming very soon, as well as the other one whose name does escape me again. Yeah, I honestly can't remember, guys, but we have him pre-ordered as well. So once all of those come in, I think there's then another two more after that, because annoyingly, they don't have any of them on the back, even with that like silhouette image that has been released before. Um, but yeah, as soon as they all come in, we will be doing a closer look at all of the Class 1B exclusives. Next up, guys, we have this parcel from Pop Culture in Australia. I think I've been sitting on this for about four weeks now, so I hope everything is okay. Looks like they actually taped two boxes together, so that's why I'm opening it up from the top here. There we go, and I honestly can't even remember what I ordered. Mostly when I order things from Pop Culture, it's uh, things that I find very difficult to get over here in the UK. Let's uh, pop this down here, first of all, and get into this. What's this first one here on the top? Oh yeah, now I remember. I ordered a whole bunch of Stranger Things Fungo Pops uh, from them. The, you know, they, they had some older ones in stock as well as some of the newer ones. This is the 11, I think this was from season three. It doesn't actually say uh, what she is exactly. <laughs> I think there was a name for it on the site, but yeah, it is 11 from season three. Obviously a lot of the Stranger Things pops really going up in value now. There are some of the figures uh, from the collection on the back there as well. I wanted to do a big Stranger Things video once season five drops. I am trying to complete the collection and I have heard that season five is not gonna drop till 2024. And if those rumors are true, I've got plenty of time to try and finish the collection. So yeah, that's why we're not gonna be taking a closer look at any of these figures. But again, there is the 11. And then we've got a box in a box. Looks like they put a whole bunch of pops in this. What was this? Naruto Shippuden Kakashi, six pieces per case box so let's get into this as well like i said i'm pretty certain it's all stranger things figures uh, apart from one bigger one at the bottom yeah, so there we go six figures nicely packed in so what did we grab here so this was the dustin uh from the latest season with his bite off t-shirt and the thinking cap i hope you guys can see that and it's not like too dark there for you um, might have to like push the lights back a little bit, but yeah, that's a pretty cool figure. Um, they made a ton of these though, didn't they? Um, Dustin with the thinking gaps there is the back as well. We then have, what was this one? So this is from the new season as well. This is 11 when she goes into the, was it like the water tank thing? I think it does have a proper name. Again, I should know because it's not too long since we watched the uh, latest season. But another cool figure again. This was an exclusive. I forget who they were exclusive to. Maybe Dustin was Target. 11. No, I honestly can't remember who they were exclusive to in the US. Obviously special edition stickers because they are from Australia. I think we had. Yeah, we do also have the Lucas uh, in his basketball outfit. If you guys can make that out there. Again, apologies. Just on the viewfinder, it does look a little bit dark 
Um, so I hope you guys can see the figure there, because like I said, we're not going to be taking a closer look at these. I think this was a Walmart exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, that was actually it for the Season 3 ones. So then we actually take a... Uh, uh, no, Season 4, sorry. So now we take a step back all the way, I think, to Season 2. This one was Hopper with Vines. Again, pretty cool figure. Uh, it's when he kind of goes underground and gets caught up in the vines. He has that little knife as well. So that is pretty cool. Then we have two, uh, two 11 figures here. The first one was this. But you know what? This one was actually season one, I think, wasn't it? 11 in the hospital gown where her face is a bit dirty. And is it like, are they like fries or something that she's eating when she goes to the... Um, to that burger shop again. Yeah, I really can't remember the name of that. That was from season one. Even though I did watch the uh, uh, the first three seasons to catch up to season four, but yeah, eleven in hospital gown. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that is uh, from season one. And the last one we have in here is eleven with burger t-shirt. Actually, yeah, was that the shop then? Bob? No, what was it? I, was, what I was about to say Bob's Burgers. Is it Benny? I think it's Benny's Burgers, isn't it? Yeah. And there it is, uh, in a Benny's Burgers t-shirt. Actually, this is from season one as well, is it? No, no. Was this season one? No, this was season two, right? Yeah, because, uh, yeah, Eleven Snowball Dance and Dustin with Hockey Gear is on the back. That was definitely from season two. But again, another pretty cool figure there in that big Benny's Burgers t-shirt eating some ice cream. And the last thing for my pop culture order is something that I've been chasing for a very long time. I don't even know who it came to here in the UK. I know it was a GameStop exclusive in the US. It is the Naruto, well actually it's Sasuke versus Naruto pop moment. Look how cool this is guys. It has a lot of awesome detail. Let me show the back off to you guys there. But you know what? We've got to take a closer look at this. And the detail on this thing is absolutely insane, but I am actually nowhere near this part in Shippuden. What am I now? I'm on the Itachi Pursuit mission. Um, so yeah, like just over a hundred episodes in. So I think a long, long way off, because I think this is towards the end of the show, but yeah, the detail on it, you know, using the jutsu to walk on water, he's kind of got that bruised eye there. Uh, you know, Sasuke, I'm sure that is a very different form of the Sharingan that I haven't even got to yet, as we are kind of going round. Um, I mean, yeah, it's really just, I guess, the wall there. But as we kind of come back round, he's got like, uh, again, is it Chidori? Is it something else? Because I, you know, I I haven't got to this point um, in the show yet. I have read a lot about kind of what happens and what's to come. I mean, it's very hard to avoid spoilers for a show that. Well, well I mean, I guess the show did only finish what in twenty nineteen, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, Chidori, Lightning Blade, whatever it is, he's got a closed eye as well with, you know, a bit of a bulge there. That is very cool. Naruto there with the, I guess it is the Rasengan. It's not the um, uh, Rasen Shuriken, is it? He's, he's not long learned that at the point where I am in the show. But yeah, really cool detail there on the water. We've got some leaves in the water as well. Um, you know, I didn't even mention where Sasuke is kind of leaping off. He's left like this big kind of hole, um, this big sort of dent in the in that kind of ground area as well. Yeah, just a really, really cool detail on this pop. Can't wait to get to this moment. I'm thoroughly enjoying Naruto Shippuden. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome pop. Really happy to get this and add it to the collection. And the next three parcels are all from Danny and Jazz aka DJ Collectibles, and I think maybe only the final parcel contains something that's very new. I think I just picked up some things that were uh, that I needed to complete collections. So the very first thing here we got, guys, is the Baseball Fury Blue from the Warriors, the Toy Tokyo New York 2019 limited edition. It came out at Comic-Con there. Very, very cool. I was a big fan uh, what was it was, still am a big fan of The Warriors, a very, very cool film, 1979, I think it was, before I was born, so yeah, I'm not that old, um, but yeah, this was Baseball Fury Blue, haven't seen the movie for an age, though, to be perfectly honest, didn't they make it into a video game as well, was it like a rock, was it Rockstar who made it, I kind of feel it was, 
Um, there was talk that it was going to be remastered for a while, but then I think that's dropped off. But I never played it, actually. I really did want to, but I think it was at like the end uh, of that generation. But yeah, like console generation, I mean. But very, very cool figure. Uh, yeah, it came in. I thought it was a pretty good price. It was lower than TBD. They said it was, you know, had some slight damage, but it was nothing too significant. And even looking at the box now, yeah, can't really see anything too significant. Yeah, very cool and happy to add it to the collection. Second one, guys, here. Here is another chase though it is a chase that I purchased um, not you know like chase luck I am hoping my chase luck changes because one of the parcels over there uh, from funkoeurope.com has a potential chase so hopefully my chase luck has changed because um, yeah it's been pretty bad uh, for quite a while but this is the and I always struggle to say this the Dilo Dilophosaurus chase right um, where the the like head is like down i do actually have the where is he there he is the common one up here on my steven spielberg shelf so there he is with the well i don't know if it is the ears i'm not really sure what the correct term is um but these come out and then he spits out i do actually have the um the nedry there as well so this was part of that entertainment earth uh, i think it was entertainment earth anyway the two pack where nedry has the um Again, I don't know really what it is. Is it like, I think it is poisonous, right, in the end. Um, we found out it was poisonous, uh, but that black sludge there on the face. But this is the Chase Edition where these bits are down. Um, again, it came in, you know, Danny and Jazz, they get a lot of collections, I guess, that they purchase and then they resell. And uh, typically it was, or typically they sell them for a pretty good price, whether it's TBD or even lower in some cases. And I think this one was, I think they did say there was some slight box damage um, as well, but I'm honestly not really seeing too much. I always do check because they, they do put multiple pictures online when they are selling these damage pops, but yeah, very, very cool. I guess it is, well, is it similar to, to the common? It's, it's just like those flappy bits are down. Otherwise, I think it is the exact same figure when I am comparing the size. Actually, you know what? There is more kind of sort of blackness around the eyes um, of, the, of the figure. With the, with the bits coming out, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, still really, really cool and happy to add that to the ever-growing Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World uh, universe of pops that I have. The last one in this order, ah, Jurassic Park as well. It is the Dr. Ian, Ian, Ian Malcolm figure, the, uh, the original one from Jurassic Park. I just wanted to pick this one up because the only Ian Malcolm figure that I owned, again, I'll show it off, it is just up here. Stand up. It nearly fell down there. Is the, um, I don't know what they called it. He's like injured, isn't he? But there's uh, there's been a lot of talk that it's, it's kind of like a sexy pose because he's got his uh, shirt open and, and the way he's kind of lying. A little bit bloodied with, like a, a splint there for his leg as well. But yeah, I wanted to get this one uh, mainly because I decided I wanted to kind of complete the Jurassic Park collection, or at least most of them are not interested. I think they did like a, wasn't the, the, the Dillo had like a red version or something like that, but I wasn't really interested in, you know, I'm never interested in those types of figures to be perfectly honest. Uh, but yeah, wanted to get the Ian Malcolm figure or Dr. Ian Malcolm, as I should call him, uh, just the regular common one where he is standing, is different, of course, to that injured one because he has his glasses on, he has his shirt on, uh, but yeah, cool figure. I guess a little bit basic, but like I said, very happy to add that to that ever-growing Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World collection. Two of three here. Uh, again, can't really remember what I ordered. All in sorter boxes, all in protectors as you always get from Danny and Jazz, aka DJ Collectibles, who are also opening their own store. Check out their YouTube channel. Um, they're opening a physical store and they are doing a few videos uh, on that. So, ah, uh, <laughs> that's pretty stupid, guys. Ah, uh, I really thought I'd check that. Um, yeah, I've ordered another hopper with vines. Um, yeah, we just opened that in the pop culture box. I honestly thought I had checked my pop culture order. You know what, I might have to check. I could have sworn I checked that before making this purchase uh, from Danny and Jazz, because I was like, yeah, I might have ordered it. Hmm, might have to check that with um, 
with pop culture if they've sent me the wrong uh, figure. They probably haven't. I probably ordered two by mistake. Uh, that is a bit annoying, but uh, I guess we've now got to hopper with vines to to kind of trade or sell in the future. I'll probably hold on to it for a while. I imagine prices are going to skyrocket again. Um, when uh, when season five does finally drop, like I said, I think it is 2024. What else do we have? Oh, I actually have a soda in here. Yeah, I forgot I ordered this. Um, this goes towards the soda video that we will have coming up, uh, hopefully sometime soon, yeah, it is still sealed. This is Leatherface, 12,500 pieces. I don't know if there was an international edition, but this doesn't have anything on there, so this could very well be the US edition, but sometimes there are not international editions. So we're gonna add this to the soda video. I've got a whole bunch of sodas up here, you guys can't see it. What have we got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this would be number 12. There is another five Star Wars ones there, but I am gonna get or do a Star Wars soda video. Um, so yeah, I think we've got another bunch of sodas in one of those orders. And what I wanted to do, actually I should have said this from the start, is open up 25 unique Funko sodas. We opened up 50. Uh, it was a few months ago now, but was a very popular video. People seem to enjoy it. I had a fun time enjoying it, opening up 50 unique Funko sodas. We've got a bunch of chases, I think like, 10 or 11 chases it was very very cool though it took a very long time uh you, you know to kind of put that together firstly to collect all of those sodas to then open them all up film it edit it etc etc so i'm going to limit it down to 25 this time but yeah we are more than halfway there guys this one lever face as i said so make sure you stay tuned for that video hopefully coming within the next month or so and this one is ah again yeah i forgot i ordered this the Mitsuki Sage Mode Hot Topic Exclusive Glow in the Dark from Boruto. Again, I'm not going to take this out of the box. Um, it, you know, if you saw I said earlier, uh, I'm only like a hundred or so episodes into Shippuden, so I am a long, long way off Boruto. You know what? Screw it. Let's take it out of the box and take a closer look at it. Because it is a really, really cool looking pop. I really can't say too much about it. Mitsuki with Sage Mode, I think from what I've read and I understand, is he like a clone of Orochimaru, like a clone child or something um, of him. But yeah, like I said, long, long way off Boruto. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool looking figure, I have to say. It is one of the more expensive ones, if not maybe even the most expensive so far in the Boruto line. You know, someone correct me in the comments section below if I'm not mistaken. But let's quickly check out the glow. Like I said, I really did want to see how it is. And here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Boom. Look at that. That's really cool. That's like quite eerie uh, with the snakes there, the hair. I do wish the eyes would glow, but uh, there's no glow paint on there. You know, you can always feel there's always a texture uh, to the paint when it does glow. But yeah, I have to say the rest is really cool. Maybe they could have made the face glow white as well. But yeah, I still really do like that. The hair and the snakes. Very, very cool. Last Danny and Jazz box. And I actually think this one is the most recent parcel I've received. I think this one just arrived on the weekend. And there it is, guys. Very, very cool. Gentle Criminal and La Brava. Stuck there, there we go. Gentle Criminal and La Brava, the Anime Expo 2022 exclusive. Look at that, guys. Very, very cool. This was actually on my list of pops that I wanted to see them make, especially in a two pack. And they did finally make it. And there is some really, really nice detail here on these figures. I mean, I won't go into too much detail because I wanted to do like a big My Hero Academia video at some point. But yeah, look at that guy's gentle criminal, you know, with his outfit there. I guess he was a gentle criminal. He was like, like well spoken, very kind. And then, of course, La Brava, who was absolutely obsessed with him there with the camera, with her phone you know, making him kind of viral and all that. Two very, very cool looking figures though. Very happy they made these and very happy to get that Anime Expo exclusive sticker as well because there was some talk that it was actually going to be a Hot Topic exclusive sticker because uh, it was exclusive to Hot Topic in the US. So yeah, very happy all round. Next three parcels are all from FungoEurope.com. I know there's potential chase in one of these, a bunch of sodas as well, but I'm not really sure what is in what package. Uh, I really can't remember this one. Looks like we've got a bunch of sorters in here. So, ah, no, you know what? I think I do remember this one. I think, yeah, it's, ah, 
Actually, you know what, guys? I'm actually, this is the one with the potential chase. Um, I hope it's not there. On, right, that's at the back, so that's pretty good. Right, so, how should we do this? Um, so it's a bit of a surprise for me. So there's the flap. So if I can see, that's the bottom. I already saw that is. So this one is a potential chase, guys. Did we, because I ordered two of the same figure. I wanted to see if we got the chase. Did we get the chase, guys? I really can't see from there. Is it? I think we did. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. I finally broke my chase streak of 2022. I had so much uh, chase luck in 2021 and I've just not really had much luck at all. But here we go. Chase streak is over or trace chase streak beginning, however you want to put it. So I ordered two of the, and I'm probably going to pronounce this right, Kamugi. Um, I haven't watched Hunter Hunter yet. We'll get round to it again. I, there are a lot of people who always say, why are you collecting something you've never seen? Um, I think Top Pops gets it quite a bit, and especially if he doesn't know characters and whatnot. But I will be getting around to Hunter Hunter. I'm, you know, I've been loving my anime since lockdown. It's just I've watched other shows and I know how popular Hunter Hunter is. Uh, it's near the top of most people's lists. So I'm pretty certain that I will enjoy it. And I wanted to go for one of the... Uh, well, don't people normally call it Toucan Magic for the sodas? So Toupop Magic uh, to see if we get the chase. And we did. We got one chase of Kamugi here, which, again, I'm not going to be able to say much about the character. Like I said, I haven't seen it, but it's pretty much one with eyes closed as the common and one with eyes open as the chase, as you guys can see there. Very, very cool. Happy to have finally, finally got a chase here in 2022. A chase at retail, I should say. Um, yeah, really, really happy with that. And actually, the last figure in this box is nothing really special. And it will, maybe that's a bit unfair, but nothing new. It is the Fungo Shop exclusive Blood Sport from the Suicide Squad, where he is a mast. Basically, Fungo were doing a thing. I think it is on now as well. At FungoEurope.com, if you spend... Is it like over 60 pounds and 70 euros you get a free pop and you know whatever i spent I, I don't think that was the full box it might have been that one might have been with the ratatouille perhaps i can't entirely remember they've been like uh instead of like shipping everything in one box recently fungoeurope.com have been shipping everything um or they've been like distributing it in you know a number of different boxes which i think is a little bit weird when i used to get everything in one big box but it is blood sport unmasked from the Suicide Squad, you know, Idris Elba, I'm a big fan of his, I think he's an awesome actor, a lot of talk whether he would be the next James Bond, I honestly wouldn't mind it, like I said, I think he is a great actor, I really, really do like him. Bloodsport was also a very, very cool character, this is him unmasked, some nice detail on it, I do like how they've done that colouring there in the hair and the beard as well, um, you know, the kind of grey streaks and things that he has. Uh, I've got a few Suicide Squad pops, but not too many, I was kind of contemplating whether I should collect them or not. Not, but uh, you know what? I am slowly getting more and more into the collection, so yeah, maybe I will. Let's get into here then. I'm actually using this knife because I can't find the Stanley knife. We've lost it somewhere. So what have we got in here? Okay, there's a bunch of sodas in here. So I've already mentioned the soda video. Actually, you know what? We are going to open this one up though uh, on today's video. It's Klaus from uh, the Umbrella Academy, because I accidentally ordered two of these. He's actually sitting up there uh, with the rest to be open. So we will actually open that one up in just a moment. What else do we have here? We have Ralph from Wreck-It Ralph, 8,000 pieces. That one will be going towards that soda video. So I'm actually just gonna pop him there on the shelf. This one was Black Adam from the DC Universe. Also 8,000 pieces. Another soda in here as well, it is number five from the Umbrella Academy. So we will be opening that up in that video as well, along with Klaus, but we will open up this Klaus in just a second. So yeah, that is just paper. So we've got this uh, sort of three-way sorter here. First of all, I'm gonna show this off because it is another Fungo Shop exclusive that came free. It is the Joker King. It is a very, very cool looking figure. I think it is from the comic book universe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I haven't read the story, even though I'm a huge Batman fan. I've got a ton of uh, like Batman comic books and graphic novels off to my right. Uh, but yeah, it's a very, very cool looking pop. They have tried to um, 
what's the word kind of like ship these well, ship is not the right word you know what i mean like they've got like surplus stock so they're really trying to get rid of these i think you know i wouldn't be surprised if some of these are in those mystery boxes if anyone has bought those online i honestly wouldn't recommend it i got the birthday freddy funko mystery box and i really felt it was just them literally trying to get rid of their own stock as opposed to anything you know too special apart from that birthday freddy funko of course uh, but yeah, still a pretty cool figure and you can't complain when you do get one for free. And the other two figures in this box, guys, are both from Black Clover. Again, an anime that I have yet to watch. Uh, again, I will be getting round to it and I've heard a lot of good things about it and wanted to collect the pops and grab them uh, before they kind of sell out. I, I guess there's a little bit of a FOMO thing, especially when it comes to anime for me here in the UK. I find anime pops are fairly difficult to get, so whenever they come out you know I try and grab them really really quickly but here we have Noel and you know I hope I am pronouncing those names correctly also on the back there is one more Asta which I don't think has been released um, well it may have been released but it certainly hasn't been released on FunkoEurope.com just yet so I will have to keep an eye out for that and there was uh, was it Luck Vol Voltia, Voltia, if I'm pronouncing that right, that was uh, an exclusive as well. And I think there is a chase version for that character. I'll give you guys a quick spin, but I'm not really going to be able to say anything about these two characters. As I said, I haven't watched the anime just yet, but they are some pretty cool looking figures. Can't wait to get round to that anime, uh, or this anime, I should say. Um, but yeah, so many on the list of things to watch, and some of them are so long, but... We will get there eventually. So let's get into this Klaus Soda real quick then, guys. That is the common version, as you can see him there on the side. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the chase version is him kind of like that, I think. A bit like the, um, bit like the Funko Pop that we have just right here. I, if I'm not mistaken, anyway, I think that is what the chase soda is like. So let me just pop him back there and let's see if we had any luck came off really really easy i won't look at the pog let's pop this open <laughs> we got the chase nice ah oh, maybe should have saved this for the video but uh yeah maybe should have put that one there and pulled that one out to see uh if we got the chase but you know what we're gonna wait and hold that one off um that probably didn't make sense but i'm just really excited that i got the chase look at that guys very very cool at least i think that's what the chase is let's just double check yeah you found the chase meditating clouds look at that really funny cool pop there hope that's gone into focus there for you guys and as you can see on the back it says you found the chase limited to what was it 1100 yeah oh no pardon me one actually almost dropping it there one out of 1,000 there for the chase. So it means the common is 5,000 pieces. So when we come to do that soda video, I honestly wouldn't be too bothered if we did get the common. So we would then have both. But yeah, look at that guys. Really, really cool figure. Not really the best knife to get into parcels. There we go. So this one, um, I think after that Danny and Jazz, the Gentle Criminal and the Brother two pack, was the latest one I received. So we've got a bunch of sodas in here. Again, carrying on with the Umbrella Academy, we have Luther, limited to 5,000 pieces. These will again be going in that future soda video. We also have Yondu here, international edition. I think all of these are international edition. 6,000 pieces Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. I think, it, yeah, it is volume two again. In that future video, we also have Laughly's, 10,000 pieces from the DC Universe. This was part of the recent San Diego Comic-Con uh, exclusive line and I, for whatever reason, didn't pick it up, but finally did decide to pick it up. So we will be opening him up in that future video as well. And then we did also pick up C-3PO limited to 10,000 pieces. But as I did mention earlier, I want to do a separate soda video for a bunch of the Star Wars sodas. So make sure you guys also stay tuned for that. I think the only ones I need are Boba Fett and the Jawa. And I know the gel are sold out. Well, actually, they're both sold out on FungoEurope.com, but I know Boba Fett is, you know, fairly prominent in Smith's toys. Just need to check on the gel. So, yeah, hopefully that video should come pretty soon. And I did also order the next WandaVision mini moments here. The, from the 2000s, Wonder and Vision with Billy and Tommy. Uh, I think there's only one more to go, and I think it is also from 2000s. So this was like the Halloween version, I think. Um, and as soon as that 
is released and comes out, we will take a closer look at all of the WandaVision mini moments, but for now, we won't take a closer look at that. Uh, this is a pretty older pop, to be honest, but it seemed to come back in stock on FungoEurope.com and I've wanted it for a long time. It is Slash from Guns N' Roses. I'm a big Guns N' Roses fan, as is The Professor, as you guys can see there on the back. Uh, Axel, Slash and Duff. I do have the... Um, the Appetite for Destruction uh, deluxe album that came where their faces are like kind of skeleton like. Um, but yeah, really wanted to get this one as well. Uh, very, very cool looking figure, you know, slash iconic, one of the greatest guitarists of all time. I think the professor kind of rates him like that. Um, you know, he was very much into Guns N' Roses. Uh, I, I guess they were like more his time period. I was, well, I'm probably giving my age away here, I was like literally just about born when they started to you know become real famous probably really does give my age away there but uh yeah became a big fan of guns rose myself really really cool looking pop happy to get it and add it to the collection and the final item from this order guys is the new kakashi pop and tea really can't wait to get the tea out of this box it looks very very cool though it does mean that i actually own this figure three times now i actually just gave one to my godson because uh, there was the common edition, but there is then the one that was called um, like Reikiri or, or something like that, uh, but they were all different numbers. And then this one, uh, it, it's the same mold, at least I believe it is. Again, someone in the comment section below, correct me if I am mistaken, but I believe it was the same mold as the Reikiri one. It's just this one now glows in the dark. And I think the Rakiri one glows in the dark as well. It just happens to be a different number. But let me show that off to you guys there, as well as showing you the back as well. We will take a closer look at the figure in a second, as well as the glow, because I am eager to see the glow. I haven't seen it um, on the other figure, but I really did want to have a look at this T-shirt because this, I felt, looked from the glam shots, one of the coolest T-shirts they've ever done. And yeah, I am not mistaken, guys. That is really cool. Take a look at that. I just want to make sure it's there in the shop for you guys. How cool is that? Kakashi Hatake. Well, I don't know if it actually says Hatake. It does actually say Hatake there at the bottom. So cool. Doing his lightning blade maneuver there. The colors and everything on it. Though it is one of those ones where it's more like kind of printed on. So I guess over time that will crack. I, I kind of preferred these ones this guardians uh, of the galaxy one where it is it's just part of the design rather than um you know sort of ironed on patched on whatever the correct term is but yeah still a really really cool t-shirt and as for the figure itself a lot of really cool detail there with his sharingan eye as well as the scar maybe they could have made the scar a little bit more prominent because it is a little bit difficult to see but still pretty cool nonetheless doing his lightning blade maneuver in that pose uh in pretty iconic pose i guess for kakashi sensei um yeah just a really cool figure you know he's one of the favorite characters although i'm a long way off it i know he does eventually become hokage spoiler spoiler for anyone who you know is kind of around the same point as me in the shibboden show uh, but yeah just really really cool let's actually check out the glow on it because i do know things like red glow is typically not very good and i think his sharingan eye as well as the lightning blade itself are the two things that glow on this figure so let's see how good it is so i've actually grabbed the newer one as well kakashi with rikiri they kind of renamed it from lightning blade so the one on the left is the one that came with a pop tea and then the one on the right is that rikiri one and i have actually noticed you guys may be able to notice there in the light mind you this um torch is actually going a bit that the one there on the right the rikiri one you can see that the there is a bit of glow uh on the sharingan eye and there actually isn't on the lightning blade version although because it is red it doesn't glow very well you guys can see what I mean there. I mean, yeah, I can't even see it uh, off camera. A nice little glow, I guess, to the the like lightning blade itself. But yeah, it's a shame nothing on the eye. Red just doesn't glow very well. I mean, I've had the torch on there for a long, long time as well. Like I had it concentrated on the eye, but unfortunately nothing. Again, yeah, I, I can't even see it like with my own eyes off camera either. So yeah little bit disappointing but i mean if the one on the left uh was the one that came with the tea but yeah as i said the lightning blade itself 
does glow pretty well. And now for the final parcel and final figure guys that I mentioned I had already opened up because I wanted to make sure it was received in good condition and when the box arrived, and if you guys can make that out there, there was a hole in it, I was like, oh, please don't tell me. But thankfully the pop is in very good condition. And check this out guys, it is the Master Chief with the MA5B Assault Rifle, 20 years Xbox Gear Shop exclusive, look at that sticker there guys. A very, very unique sticker. I guess similar to, wasn't there like a Halo figure exclusive to like Blockbuster Video back in the day, which I know is now very, very rare because Blockbuster Video hasn't existed for quite a long time. This was one of the more recent wave of figures that you guys can see there on the back as well. Uh, I think this may be coming, if I'm not mistaken, to Fungo Shop as an exclusive, but you could order this Xbox Gear Shop 20 years exclusive version. I think it was sold, I ordered it back in December, so it's been quite a long time for it to come out. I want to say even Boxing Day, I just happened to, you know, come across it. I think even maybe I was playing Xbox and saw a message or something on there that you could, you know, sort of pre-order this. And I think it was supposed to come out in April. I think they then sent like a message to say, uh, apologies for the delay. This is now coming out at the end of July and it, you know, it finally did come. But yeah, I really do like that sticker there, guys. Xbox Gear Shop exclusive, 20 years. I've said that several times already. A really, really cool sticker. And the figure itself, also very, very cool in the kind of black outfit, not that traditional green one. I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, I have only ever played the first two Halo games. I know it sounds really, really bizarre. Um, you know, I played the first one years ago on the very first Xbox, and then I played Combat Evolved. You know what, I'm actually lying, I haven't played the first, I've actually only played the first one because I played Combat Evolved twice. I think I played halfway through, uh, halfway through it on Xbox 360, then never went back to it, and then eventually the Master Chief Collection that came out, I've only finished the first game. So yeah, I am a little bit of a Halo novice, but thoroughly enjoyed the first one, and we'll get through the other ones. It's like my backlog in video games is just absolutely horrendous. So um, yeah, if there is a more proper term for like the suit, for the armor, for the guns, apologies. Um, you know, I will be getting through those Halo games. It's just when you, it's just the thing, right? You, you know, you play lots of video games, you watch a lot of TV, a lot of movies, a lot of anime, you know, read comic books. There's, there's just too much, too much stuff to do. And so little time to get through it all. But um, yeah, very, very cool figure. I will get round to all of those Halo games eventually. Um, but yeah, still really happy to have got this. And like I said, one more time, especially with that Xbox Gear Shop 20 years exclusive sticker. And now as this figure is sold out, I doubt it will be coming back into stock and it will be pretty sought after in the future. It is going straight into a magnetic hard stack for protection. There we go, guys. Very, very cool. Happy it has finally arrived. And once more, I really do love that sticker. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. First and foremost, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Drop some comments below. Which pop did you guys enjoy most with what I got from this haul? And we have plenty more content to come, guys, including the continuation of our very own Star Wars celebration here on the Geek Lounge, a Star Wars themed video dropping every single week for the rest of the year. I know we do owe you guys a couple of videos from the last couple of weeks. We are going to try and do two or three Star Wars themed videos dropping this week, and we have plenty, plenty more to come. So make sure you guys stay tuned for all of that and more. What is the easiest way to stay tuned? It's very simple. Subscribe, hit click, smash that subscribe button, and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content. Guys, thanks again for watching today's video and we will see you on the next one. Peace out, nerds.